Hi, Brian Davis with Erie Tech. I am one of the industrial electrical specialists here. And today I want to talk about the difference between two wire and three wire control. For the purposes of this video, we use different color wire just to make it easier to follow. This is not wired according to any UL or NEC standard. So to demo our two wire control, we've got this nice little demo kit, um, 24 volt power supply, okay. on off switch, Eaton IEC motor starter and just a running light, okay, 24 volt LED. All right. So when we energize the power supply, 24 volts is going to go through this switch. When we turn the switch on, power is going to come up here to the, con the coil on the motor starter. The motor starter will turn on, which is going to turn on the light bulb. You can see here on this drawing, okay, just to represent what we're going to do with our demo, 24 volts. In this case, on the drawing, it's showing a prox, but this is actually going to be our switch. So when this is energized or closed, it's going to send power to the coil on the motor starter. Right? So as long as this is closed, the motor starter is going to have power. So if we plug this in, okay, 24 volts is on. Power is going to our switch. When we turn this switch on, this is going to turn on, which is going to turn on our light. There it is. So this switch is what is going to control the motor starter, meaning that if I turn this off, motor starter de-energizes and the light turns off. If this is on and we lose power, we'll go ahead and unplug. 24 volts is off, okay? So everything is de-energized up to here which means that this is off, our light is off. Okay. On the drawing, that would be like if we're removing power here. So the power is no longer going to the switch. Okay. If we're still in the on position, or if this prox switch was still made, when we re-energize, or power comes back on, you'll see it automatically turns back on. This is the problem with two-wire control. If I lose power, when the power comes back on, because the switch is on, the light bulb is going to turn on. The motor starter is going to turn on automatically. So you have to make sure that two-wire control is actually right for your application. You might not want this starter to turn on right away when power comes back on. You might want to have to tell it to start as opposed to it automatically happening. So for three-wire control, our on-off switch is gone. We're using a, a start button and a stop button. Okay, So our 24 volts is going to come out of the power supply, and it's going to go to our stop button first. Normally close contact. From there, it's going to come around to the start button. And from the start button, it actually goes two places. One, on the top of the start button, the same 24 volts that's coming from the normally closed contact here is going to go up to our normally open contact on our motor starter and then off of the other side of the normally open contact on the starter it goes to the coil on the motor starter and up to the auxiliary contact. So when this motor starter is energized this contact that's normally open it's going to close and when it closes it's basically going to bypass the start button show that on a drawing. So 24 volts to the normally closed on the stop button. From the stop button to the start, but also to the auxiliary contact on the motor starter, which is what we're showing here. And then from there, it's going to go to the coil on the starter here. So when I push the start button, the motor starter is going to turn on, and this contact will close, which is this one here. We can demo that. Twenty-four volts is on. Okay, power is going to our stop, normally closed, around to our start. So when we push the start, motor starter will turn on, and our light will turn on. There's our light. So this normally closed or normally open contact is now closed. That would be this one. Okay, and this is what is actually holding power to the to the coil. 
It's kind of a holding circuit or a latch. So when we hit the stop button, it's going to break the 24 volts that's going to the coil and it will allow this to shut off. So on the drawing, right now this is closed, but when we push this button, it's going to de-energize the motor starter and this contact will open back up. So when we push the stop, our light turns off. The beauty about this circuit is in case of a power outage, this will not come back on automatically. So if we start this back up, and then we're going to unplug or disconnect, just like if the power was removed, okay? And you can see our light turned off. That means that this contact is open, okay? Because the motor starter is de-energized. And when we bring power back on, there's our 24 volts, the motor starter does not turn on automatically. So depending upon the application, typically the safer way to go. So that's it. Thanks for watching our video on uh, two wire to three wire control and the differences. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us here at Erie Tech. Thank you. Mm -hmm.